Hello. Welcome to Adobe Flash ActionScript 3.0 for Flash CS5 or CS6. Now in this lesson, we'll learn to do the following. To use the code snippet panel in Flash CS5, navigate to a URL using a code snippet, add ActionScript to the timeline via the Actions panel, add labels to frames on a timeline, control playback with ActionScript that we've added to the timeline, preview our Flash project as a Swift file in the testing environment, change the contents of a dynamic text field in ActionScript, use an ActionScript variable to keep track of a changing number, and use a conditional statement to respond to the looping of an animation. Now let's just begin by viewing our, over here, our final product here. Okay, so I'm just going to over, go, go over down to our finder and, and we're going to just go over to the completed lesson. So over here, we have our final one. And notice there's a number here changing two, three, four, five, and that's it. And it comes down to the home page, home frame. Okay, so let's begin. So let's just open our file over here. So we're going to just open up the start file. Okay. And as always, we are going to save as working copy. And we're going to save it. Okay. So at the beginning, what we're going to do is that we are going to open up the library panel. Now notice over here now, and let me just move everything, show everything over here. So this is our frame here. So what we've got to do is that notice there are all these items here in the library. So we've got to take the label or the button over here, and we've got to, just got to drag it to the stage over here. And we've got to go to the properties panel and we've got to give this the name help button. BTN. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit in, so 200%. So notice over here. And notice over here, there's in the component parameter, there's this thing called label. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and go type here flash support. So notice the, the label on the button has changed. Okay, so the next thing is to add a code snippet. So notice I'm going to select this flash support here and I'm going to click on the code snippets panel. Okay, and I'm going to go to actions and notice there's this thing called click to go to web page. I'm just going to double click it. Okay, so notice over here the, there is a action script uh, cap, uh, indicator here to show that there is action script added here. So now, and if we look at our action script panel over here. There's this action script that has been added to our web page. So let's just test it for a while. So control, test movie, test. Okay. Now if I click on the flash support notice, it opens up the adobe.com website. So let's just modify a little bit, okay? So well, it's taking a bit, a bit of a time to load up the web page, but as you can see that it goes to www.adobe.com. Okay, so that's it. So let's just come over here, and we've got to change the URL that we put here. So let's just change it to adobe.com/support/flash. Okay, and just got to test it one more time. And we'll click one more time over here. So notice it goes to, well, the support page, we goes to the Adobe help page. Okay, so that's how we modify the, our action script over here. So whatever that's created using code snippets can be modified. Okay, so the next thing to do, okay, we've got to learn how to place code on the, Flash timeline and to work with frame labels. So let's just go to the labels layer here. Okay. So we've got to select uh, frame 30. 
Hold on. Frame 30 over here, which is over here. Okay. And we got to go insert a timeline. Insert a, sorry, insert a keyframe. So notice the keyframe added here. And we've got to come over here to label and we've got to call it end loop. So notice there is a label given to this keyframe over here. Okay, so now the thing is, um, well, this just creates a keyframe. Now. Nothing doesn't really change. So let's go and test it one more time. I'm going to show you what happens. It goes one time and goes to the, this page and then ends. So what we've got to do is that when it comes over here, we're going to loop back. So we've got to come over to same frame 30 and we're going to insert another keyframe. And we've got to click on this to go to the action script panel. And we've just got to type go to and play loop. Okay, so let's see what happens now. So let's just test it. As you can see, there's a looping. It, it goes, when you finish the animation, it goes all the way back and back and back forever. Okay. So, now that's all just uh, nice and dandy, but what it creates is an infinite loop. That means it keeps on going forever and ever infinitely. And what we want to do is we want to keep track of the number of loops that we go to. So now if you look at our keyframe over here. So I will go to and play. Notice, this, notice that we can use the word loop, which is the name of the label, or we can even use the frame number, which is two. But in action script, we prefer, prefer to use label because whenever you, if you do not use labels, what would happen is that if you add another frame, the numbering of the frame will just be shifted. So a label is always much, much preferred than using numbers for going to frames. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so we're going to come over here to frame number one of our actions panel here. And we're going to come over here. So notice this, this action here. So we've got this action has been created using our code snippets. And we've got to just come down over here and we've got to just type this here. Var count number equals to one. So what this does is that it declares a variable called count, which is of type number. That means it is a number. And we've got to set it to one. OK. But that doesn't do really much because it just sets a, creates a variable. So let's go over to frame 30 and come over here. So after this go to and loop, we've got to just come here and say, count plus plus okay so basically it says increment the variable count by one okay so well it just keeps a, a track of the variable okay so now we got next thing to we got to do is we got to display the count variable so let's go to the text layer okay and I'm going to just zoom out and show everything. I'm going to select this text uh, box here. Okay, and notice the name is info text. Okay, so now we, since we know that the name of this instance of this text is info text, we've got to go to the frame two of our actions. And we've got to just insert another keyframe. And we've got to type this in our action script. Info underscore txt dot text equals to string count. OK, so that's it. And we've got to just test one more time. So notice one, two, three, and it keeps on looping and looping and looping and looping five, six onwards, and it will keep on going forever. So 
if we want to stop this animation, what we need to do is to put a conditional into our timeline so that when it reaches five or six times, it will stop and then go on to the home page. So let's stop this. Okay, so let's select frame 30 in the actions panel. And we just gotta click over this, click on this. Okay. So, instead of this, we gotta just, we gotta just gotta come over here, okay. Now what we gotta do is that we're going to just come over here, we gotta just type here, if count larger than four. And we gotta say go to and stop home else go to and play loop. So it says so now I'm gonna just format this. So it says if the count is more than four, go to home. That means go go over here, else you go back. So let's just test it out. Two, three, four, five. Top. And it goes over to home page here. Okay. So now let's go to frame 50 here in our timeline. Okay. And we gotta just add another keyframe here. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add the following code to the actions panel. Info text.txt equals to welcome to the home frame. So what it does, this does is that it modifies the text and then calls it and then sets the text to welcome to the home frame. Now if we want to set the text to a string, what we always do is that we must make sure that we put double quotes around the string. Okay, so let's just test it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. And then it goes, welcome to the home frame, and that's it. So, what can you do on your own? Okay, so let's just try to do a few things. Um, what you can do is that you can come over here. What if you change this one to 4, 5, 3, what will happen there? Change also, you can also try changing the, the text over here to try to change it to something else. You can also try to add a new text field to the stage and try to write something else and as well go and open up this code snippets panel and try a few more of these other functions here for on your own okay so if again if something's wrong you can always reset the code snippet and thank you so that ends our lesson one and we'll continue after this to lesson two